Hello there, how are you? It's a pleasure to see you, sexy bees. I am Vadiwa, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Auto Review Boobs and Lube. Now, in the last episode, I took a look at five followers to decide which one to keep. Now, in this episode, I will also be looking at a few more followers and as well as some other cool mods. So the sixth follower is Lily Follower by Overknee, and she may be the cutest follower we've ever seen in quite a long time. Now she can be found at the Thon Star at the Wind Peak Inn between 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. and she can be found right. Whoa, whoa! What do you think you're doing there, young yeah. man? Oh, get up, Lily! Hey, a boy tried to mess with you while you were sleeping. Oh man, that's so disgusting! Oh man, it. And what do you think you're doing now? Wow, what an aggressive pervert here. Now she can be found at the Quicksilver Mine as well between 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. working the mines. Man, she is just so cute. I just wanna like see your face close through and pinch your cheeks and whoa, what just happened here? Oh wow, I guess uh, one of her special ability is invisible sneaking. Oh man, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I, I, I could do this all day long. But yeah, Lily is quite a kawaii follower with such a adorable face. It must be the most adorable face yet. Now she is wearing some worn out rags, which is kind of strange since the rest of her body is spotless and she doesn't even have a scratch on her. Now she does love to cloak in battle and use mainly ice based spells and attacks. Now I gotta love that stealthing. Lily uses UNPB body type and she is probably one of the shortest potential follower that we may have that might be joining us. So yeah, so far we've looked at 6 followers and we're going to be taking a look at 3 more. So the next follower is Laura Croft follower by Skyrim GTX and she is going to possibly going to be my first Laura Croft follower. Now I have seen a lot of Laura Croft followers for Skyrim, but this may very well be my first one. Now she has a Tomb Raider outfit which is more in line with the more old school Tomb Raider instead of the more recent Tomb Raider. Uh, Laura has a tank top with a spaghetti strap and a short shorts. Yes, in my opinion though, I prefer that her short shorts be even more shorter and her boobs need to be bigger. I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Laura can be found in Riverwood at the Sleeping Giant Inn. Laura is using UNP body type and she can be married. Now most other nerdy guys, geeky guys my age uh, probably wish or dreamed about marrying or having sexy time with Laura Croft 10 or 15 years ago. Ah uh, yes, the when gaming started to get popular and we started getting 3D model and pointy boobies yeah that was good times good times now this is your chance now she is using her bow in battle and she is quite strong the bow is very strong now speaking of the bow it looks like it's a some kind of a compound bow made with a mixture of polymers and metals it looks very cool The A follower is Cirilla Fiona Ellen Rainon, Witcher 3 voice follower by Levante, and it's great that she has a follower in Skyrim. Now, Siri is wearing her default outfit from the Witcher 3 game, but for this mod, you're going to be needing Siri's outfit UNPCBBE by Oristis. Now, it's required for you to have it before you could have this follower. Now, she has a very smooth face, and what I mean is how her nose, her cheeks, and her chin is very round. Like many followers and characters we have seen have very blocky contours, but this is very excellent. I like it. It's very curvy, no straight lines. Siri can be found in Solitude at the Winking Skiver Inn, and did I mention that she uses voices from yes. the game? Hey Siri! We've no time to lose. Ah yes, we need to find that bed quickly. Hmm? No problem. I'll wait here. Yes. I believe I qualify. What do you yes, mean? Yes, I think you can qualify to be my follower, or my girlfriend or wife. Agreed. You wish to speak? What's the catch? Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. Okay, no more sitting on my lap, okay. Now she uses her sword in battle and she is a pretty good tank as well as you can see her tanking all these skeevers and then a spider shows up suddenly. Come get me. 
The ninth follower we're going to be considering is Yennefer of Venger Bird, the Witcher 3 voice standalone follower by Leviante, and she is quite sultry, yes, quite sultry indeed. Yennefer is wearing her lingerie that she wears at the beginning of Witcher 3 in that one cutscene. Now, she also has the same smooth facial uh, features as Siri, and I just think it makes all the difference having that smooth contour, the smooth chin, cheeks, nose, no weird straight lines. Yennefer can be found at the Winking Skeever Inn, and uh, we get to see her sitting in her lingerie. This is not the time to debate ethics. Ah, yes, I agree. We can debate about that after we're done. It shan't take long. Oh, oh, thanks a lot. I know, I know I'm fast, but damn, you don't have to say it. Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. Ah, sharing beds sounds like a great idea. And now? Hurry. Not left for us here. Let's go. That depends what you mean. Gold clashes with my complexion. Oh, I have special lotion to help you get rid of, uh, to help you with your complexion. Knew I could count on your better judgment. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Ah, oh, anything you'd like to say? Justin Bieber is hot. You were supposed sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. Yes, Madiwa, you are one disgusting son of a bitch. So right here we have nine potential followers. Now I want you sexy beasts to choose three that you'd like and let me know in the comment section below. So you might want to watch some of the previous episode just to know all of these followers right here. Now right here we have Laura Croft, Siri, Yennefer, Lily, Akko, Ali, Bridget, Liela, and Dora. So again, let me know which of the which of the three that you like the most, and uh, I encourage you to watch the previous episode just so you can know all nine followers, because some of it was featured in the previous episode, and I'm having you guys make these choices because sometimes I just can't make the choices just because there's so many good things. I might not see which is good, which is bad. Uh, you guys might have a bigger picture of from stepping back but yeah let me know I just sometimes I just can't make a decision kind of like in the Stanley Paradox by No Coderis where we have to make choices to get to the end now the Stanley Paradox is a game mode in Skyrim that is based off of the Stanley Parable and basically there's going to be a narrator that tells us to do something and we decide if we want to do it or not but the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Now, there will be multiple endings, so to start the quest, we go to Riverwood, and we go to the Sleeping Giant Inn. Now, right on the bar counter, we find an invitation from the narrator. Now, for the game mode, we're gonna lose access to our inventory, any speed multipliers, and we're gonna lose third-person view. And this is just so we can't really cheat or do something that might work immersion or so we can play it in first person view which is how Stanley Parable is played. Now the mod actor used the narrator voice from the Stanley Parable game and built an awesome area in Skyrim just for this game mode. I, why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well I don't know. How about this direction? Oh no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel Happy. <laughs> now there are many rooms and secrets to discover. Many of these rooms are quite crazy you and it plays with your mind. You? Like uh, where there's well a room where done. time has frozen and then we have a world that's upside down. We have creepy hallways. We have all these sorts of environments. This is very cool to just explore them all. I think it's worth it. As I mentioned before, sometimes the narrator suggests that we do something, but we have a choice whether or not we want to do it or not. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. 
Now, I'm gonna say that it took me, oh, about one hour to go through the Stanley Paradox game mode once, but it was because I explored as many areas as I could. Now, if you want to see me play through the Stanley Paradox, there's gonna be a link to the playlist for it in the video description below, so check it out if you want to see me play through it. And yeah, it's a pretty fun game. It's very, very crazy. So I'm considering a full group of followers because of two reasons. First of all, there has been a quite a lot of followers in the last one or two weeks. And the second reason is because our ex-girlfriends or ex-followers might come back and get us because they want revenge. Hateful wenches by Kazuke Hajime spawns wenches that hate our guts in dungeons. Now with this mod, when we walk into a dungeon, there is a 50% chance that a wench will spawn. Like right here. Yay, hello there. Now we have a hateful wench that is so mad that she powers up and then she spawns a shitload of enemies. And I do mean a shitload. Now she keeps spawning them until we kill her. Now the draggers and the spawns are permanent and are not summoned, so they're gonna be right there attacking us until we kill them as well. Now sometimes it might be overwhelming if you don't take care of the wench first. Although, some of the spawns are very sexy as well, yep. But yeah, as I mentioned before, things can get pretty crazy. Right here, we have a few wenches that you may encounter in a dungeon if they spawn. Again, by default, there's a 50% spawn rate. The wenches can also spawn some very hot draggers as well. And you may have noticed, you may have noticed, many of the hot draggers are wearing armor by Deserter X. It's a very good choice, very good choice, very sexy armor indeed. Now there is also a mod menu where we can adjust the difficulty of the wench encounters. We can change the percentage of the wenches spawning certain enemies and there are other options. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wenches can also spawn outside of dungeons too if desired. The steel bikini is a bit too stiff after a while and it's kind of giving me a wedgie so I kind of want something that's more free and more angelic. Kabilius outfit UNPBK TPBP by Kasperitz is a magnificent and graceful angelic outfit. Now the angel outfit is from the Black Desert Online which is kind of an MMORPG. Now I think it's just beautiful, it's very pure and sexy at the same time just how I like it. Yes, I love this outfit. Now the feathers on the wings are very well detailed especially since you can see each feather clearly. Now she is wearing a pure white outfit with some gold on it. Now I do like these gold chains, they're kind of like jewelry and they kind of hold her skimpy dress together. She also has some very nice high heels and high heels just create a very nice slender tall look. It just makes every outfit look a bit better. Now here is the Kabilius outfit without the wings. But yeah, there are two things I kind of like. Elves and angels must not tentacles must resist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, the Kabilius just looks like an outfit from a Victoria's Secret catalog or from one of those uh, runway shows. Or, you know, girls walking around when in lingerie with angel wings and whatnot. Yeah, especially if we just have the lingerie on. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't it look like it? Like a runway model with a uh, Victoria's Secret lingerie. But anyways, Kabilius can be found in Markov so in the Temple of Debelia, and the bag for it can be found near the entrance. Anyways, I am very well. I hope you sexy beast enjoyed. Remember to let me know which three is your favorite follower out of the nine. Now, thank you for watching. I hope you sexy beast enjoy, and I hope that you're gonna check out my channel and my other videos. That would be so awesome. Now, I also have a Patreon if you want to donate, if you want to help Vadiwa out, and if you like what Vadiwa makes, yes, you could check it out. There's going to be a link in the video description below. But yeah, in the next episode, most of the followers are going to be slapped into, into the pool, the virgin blood pool, especially the ones that don't make it into my group. Well then, that's all I have to say. Uh, stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy.